So hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lispy Jimmy, and today I'm gonna be going through all the prices of all the brand new DLC items, how you'll be unlocking them, and all that good jazz. So without further ado, be sure to drop this video a like, share it with a friend, or maybe a family member, and if you would like to subscribe for more daily content like this, make sure you guys click that subscribe button down below. And if you already haven't noticed, that's the Hydra behind me, a beast vehicle. We'll be driving it a little bit later in the video, but first, let's get into some of the DLC vehicles. I have them all unlocked so I'll be able to show you guys each and every vehicle so let's start off with the first vehicles we got here in the legendary motorsport category we have the Lectro and the Casco the Casco is gonna run us about 680,000 it's a pretty good vehicle yeah I wouldn't waste your money on it guys if you're really not into like old-fashioned vehicles like that that look pretty nice and the Lectro which I definitely recommend you guys buying is a fast vehicle I'm gonna be breaking this vehicle down in another video later on today so make sure you guys check out that but this will run you about 750000 which is a lot, yet you're definitely going to want to get this vehicle. So the next vehicles I want to go over is some of the vehicles that we got with the heist update, like the Vapid Guardian, which will run you about $375,000. That's a lot of money. I got the Rapid Guardian, even though... I don't know, it's not that uh, you know of an amazing vehicle, yet it's, it's a nice heist vehicle. Next vehicle we also have is the Dinka Enduro, which is going to run you guys about $48,000, not too much, yet this is not a fast vehicle. This is a very slow dirt bike. I'm not too sure why. Maybe there's a bug with it. And the next vehicle we got here is the De Classy Gang Burrito Van, and this just came out with the heist update running you guys about $65,000. We also do have the Karen Karuma, which is just the regular Karuma for $95,000 that was part of the heist update. And then we have the Karen Karuma Armored which will run you about 525,000 and the regular one will only run you about 95,000 which is a huge difference compared to just having armor on the vehicle yet you're definitely going to want to have that armor it looks really beast so the next vehicle is the dinghy that came out with the heist update this will run you about $125,000 not that much, but it's just a dinghy. And last but not least, we got the Warstock Cache and Carry vehicles. These are probably the vehicles you guys have been waiting for. But let's get into the first Insurgent with the armor on it. This is the Insurgent pickup. It's going to run you about $1,350,000. Next vehicle we got here is the Insurgent that doesn't have the armor on it. And this is going to run us about $675,000. That's a huge difference just with armor on the vehicle. Now the Hydra, this was speculated that it was only going to cost like 1.7 mil 1.8 mil but it came out to be three million dollars oh my gosh that is a lot that is a lot for a vehicle my friend that's so much next vehicle we got here is the valkyrie which will run us about almost three million dollars two million eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars which is definitely worth it guys the valkyrie is an awesome vehicle especially with crew members friends whoever the technical which will only run you guys about nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars that has the mounted gun on the back and all that cool jazz but then you guys have the mule in the boxville which the mule runs you about 32,000 and the boxville runs you about 45,000 next we have the savage here which is an awesome awesome attack chopper it's going to run us about almost 2 million just 500,000 away from 2 million like i said this update is going to cost you guys a lot of money and then you also have the mesa which will be running us around 87,000 which is not that much and last but not least the prison bus which will run you about 550,000 if you do want to buy it that's a lot for a bus but those are all the vehicles that came out with the update now I heard that the slam van is a hidden or secret vehicle I'm gonna be breaking down that vehicle in another video later on today that I will be releasing to you guys so guys I want to ask you how do you like heist how how are you guys enjoying heist and what are you doing with your free time what are you guys doing and what heist are you on are you guys enjoying heist are you loving the new heist update all the dlc items i feel like this game is like such refresh and oh my gosh it feels amazing it really really does and you guys your support has been honestly outstanding and i can't thank you guys enough for all the awesome oh my gosh support now as for the heist vehicles if you guys are wondering how to unlock them and all that because if you haven't noticed already they're not inside the internet app you have to play the heist to unlock each vehicle now, i'm pretty sure the first heist job the fleeka job to be exact will unlock you the karuma which that is pretty cool i think the prison break heist will unlock you the mesa and as well i think 
I'm not too sure, but I think the prison bus, the humane labs raid, I know that unlocks you the brand new insurgent. It also unlocks the Hydra. And I think after the humane labs raid, you have a series of funding or series funding. And that's the next heist, which I think unlocks like the Karen technical, the savage. And I'm pretty sure that the humane labs raid also unlocks the Valkyrie. I'm getting a lot of it confused, I'm sorry, but what I'm just getting straight to the point, you guys unlock all of these DLC items through heist, so play out through the heist, you'll eventually get all of them, and yeah, they're not just easy, I mean, they're not free is what I'm saying, so you're going to have to pay for them. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop this video a like, share it with a friend, grandma, grandpa, uncle, or if you guys want to even just subscribe for more content, that would be awesome as well. I'll have videos later on today, so make sure you guys are on my channel. But I hope you did enjoy, and I hope to catch you guys in my next GTA Online video.